Hey, everybody, it's the coach. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we've got what should be a good one between the Miami Dolphins and the San Francisco 49ers. I'll have scores around the league for you at the half, but it's time for a little football. So we'll hand it over to our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. We're about 40 miles south of Candlestick Point as we welcome you inside Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Miami Dolphins and the San Francisco 49ers. Hi again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, you take a look at these 49ers as they interplay here. They come in off a loss in the opener last week. That one was on the road. Now they get their first taste here of home cooking. And what they're hoping to do is feed off the energy of the home crowd. Great tailgate, great fan support. Let's see if they can put it to good use. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Dolphins, they were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense. touchdown now on the year as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter heck of a start to his season he had two touchdowns in the opener last week another one here in week two well i don't want to call him a touchdown machine this early but sometimes you get locked in you know and you feel good about things you get into that zone and those touchdowns come in bunches he may be off to that kind of a start it's like he was shot out of a cannon i would imagine success this early great momentum going forward for the rest just his offseason, but the film study he's been doing during the week because I think he's found matchups that he likes and he's capitalizing. And a few times he's even defeated double teams. He doesn't care at this point. Protection road. certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Second and long. The complete. This is Albert Wilson. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A gain there of 30 big ones. That's a real nice job right there, working the middle of the field, working against those safeties. And you know, partner, if you get your hips turned the wrong way, big plays can result. And a big play resulted right there. There goes a deep ball, in zone. And oh, it'll be intercepted. It's the former Seahawk, Richard Sherman. He was looking that time for stills. shake off the interception he'll look to throw now that'll be tipped and intercepted picked off at the 22 and they will score it's a 49er touchdown After the pick six, they go right back to the air. 
He's going to look deep down the field. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Another dangerous throw there, partner. I mean, he's already thrown two interceptions here in the first half. I don't know if you want to keep throwing up 50-50 balls when you've had that kind of lack of success. Yeah, absolutely. Very well could have been a third interception in half number one. And he'll wind up with about six up past the 30 to the 31. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Shit. Out of the gun now on third down. It's Hill, complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Let's go. 17 Let's go. yards for the Dolphins there as they've got themselves a first down. I think it all came together there. In-breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. They'll drop the throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Getting the sack to 227-pound linebacker, Quan Alexander. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. They'll set up a throw. And he hits his target. It's Kenny Stills. A good pick up there. 18 yards as they get closer for third down. After one, 17-7 is our score. Set, 50, play. Set, this is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. Back to throw here. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Set, ready? 60 out, law. They go play action here on first down. And this is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. Let's go, baby. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. They're going to look to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Quan Alexander gets him for a loss of 10 yards from his linebacker spot. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. So the contact came before the ball got there, and the flag is thrown. Timing is everything, isn't it? And it's so hard to cover these great receivers. They have such great body control, and they can fake you out. In this case, as you described, got there before the ball got to the receiver. Penalty flag had to come out. Now a pass that's taken in by Hill. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. This one into the hands of the running back, Balazs. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. It's a gain of nine yards, and that'll make it second and short. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, ball may come your way. They run it with Balazs. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Breaks free again, and he's going to ball his way into the end zone for the Dolphins score. It's their quarterback with touchdown number two in the game and now 11 on the year as they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. And maybe there that was just a case of completely overlooking the guy holding the...
we go, here we go. Ten logo. It's a party now. It's a party. It. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And going deep for Hill. And lucky to get away with one there. That one nearly picked. Second down. Well, he's been the guy already over 100 yards here in the first half. Could have had a lot more if he would have been able to haul that one in. And in fact, our statistician Marvin was already handing me a piece of paper with that yardage totaled on it. He thought that catch was going to happen just as you and I did as well. Now the pass finding its way into the hands of Eric Ebron. Give him 15 yards on that one, and the Dolphins have a first down. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way, work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Go! Who's going to cover him? Big. Corner, safety, linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. They'll set up to throw. And they're going deep for Hill. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by the safety, Jack Whiskey Tart. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That one complete to Hill. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. An ideal beginning of the drive there as they'll get 20 and a first down. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start. Here's another first and 10. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. It's complete to Drake. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Now the pass hauled in by Kenny Stills. The reception good for seven. It's third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. Back to throw. And an alley to run. Maybe not exactly what they had in mind, but that scramble good for six and a first down. The last drive, remember, similar situation. He forced the ball into coverage through the pick. He learned better there. Yeah, similar to a golfer that's confronted with a shot that you just can't make. Sometimes you have to take your medicine, as they say, right? Just pull it down. This is caught inside the 15. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. That one good for 37 yards. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. He'll look to throw. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Touchdown. Tyreek Hill with his second touchdown here in this first half as they have taken the lead. What a great drive that was. A long drive, sustained, well executed. I love what we're seeing out of him here in year two, right? This young quarterback continues to evolve and grow. He's really the adage right now that John Wooden, a famous basketball coach, used to say, be quick. Let's go. 10 2 stop. Yeah. Yeah. Now a play fake here on first down. Ebron caught left side. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Well, even after all those interceptions, he's not deterred, still confident to go deep at work there. I think all the old rules about playing that position still apply. If things go wrong, you still act like you're the best player out on the field. You still carry that supreme arrogance with you and continue to fire the ball. I've seen guys have games like this, and this is where you find out if you're great or not. Can you overcome some interceptions and still lead your team to victory? A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll head to Orlando. Standing by there, Jonathan Coachman. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL in his second week of the regular season.
Now a throw downfield is taken in by his running back. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. Eric Ebron. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Dolphins are able to extend that advantage. And he is a reliable target. They like to get him involved. They got him involved there for the score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them. So a challenge coming down from the booth, and that's where these challenges come from, of course, in the final two minutes of the half. Yeah, and now we're going to New York, right? That's command central for the officials. They'll talk. They'll take a look at it, communicate with the referee at the game site, and issue a final decision because they do have the final call now. On first down, it's Drake. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face match. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. He'll drop to throw. He's going to go up top for the end zone. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. On, so now set. second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. On play action, they'll throw. Sliding out of the pocket. Bloody. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. So very close to a turnover there in the end zone. Stills the intended target, but now it'll be third down. And now offensively, it's third and ten, and I'm just thinking to myself, uh, actors always say, three. what's my motivation before a big scene? Right, right. right now, the play caller's thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. Second and goal from inside the five. They'll stay on the ground. Balazs again. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. So third and goal. And the 49er faithful making some noise for their defense. Let's put that team on the clock. They'll try and pound it in with Drake. Go, 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 run, run. And he's going to bowl his way into the end zone for the Dolphins score. There we go. Kenyon Drake, his second touchdown on the season. And the Dolphins are able to extend that advantage. Good start to the season for him. He had the touchdown last week in the opener and a second one in week two now. How about the pace he's already established, right?
Ready, ready. 54 is Mike. Check, check. Watch 54. Watch 54. Pick it up, guys. Step. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he hits Drake. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Kenyon Drake, his second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Dolphins are able to extend that advantage. Well, he's used to running it that distance. Here he had to catch it, too, before making the run. Heck of a play for the score. There's not many things better for an offense than a back who is a complete guy who can run it and catch it. And we just saw him complete a big-time play for a touchdown. Let's go, AG Gator. My 54. On the army. On the army. They'll run on first down. Drake. That one good for 13 and a Dolphin first down. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty. You can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. That led to a really Defense. nice game. The officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a 5-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now, it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. They stay on the ground with Drake. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. It's complete. Stills. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Now back to throw. That is caught inside the five. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right, safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. That didn't just feel like good defense there. That felt like pride, didn't it? He's already gotten into the end zone twice, trying to get there for a third time. No one likes to have the hat trick against them. Here's a run with Belage. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is the time you go play action and throw the ball. Let's go now. 60 Pittsburgh. It's Drake looking for a scene, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Allen, the intended receiver. And it's third down. The Dolphins on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and ten. Now the throw on third down. Knocked away and incomplete. Adrian Colbert, he was right there in coverage.
On the ready. 54, right there, right there. 54, Mike. Power drive, look what? Smite! On first down, it dropped to throw. And he couldn't hang on. Would have been their fourth pick of the game. Instead, second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Second and 10. Open man is Hill. He's got it. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Give him 15 yards on that one, and the Dolphins have a first down. And that last reception puts him over 150 yards now on the game, Charles. And now it's not just execution. It's not just performance. It's a mental aspect that's going on. Because right now, he has kept the defense so much on their heels. Got them looking at each other. Who's going to cover this guy? And what type of coverage can we put out there to try and slow him down? Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. He's going to wind up and air it out. It's caught inside the 25. And he gets it down deep into San Francisco territory. It's a big play there for Miami. 44 yards. Boy, another big play late here for an offense, Charles. It certainly has had its fair share of big plays. Coverage has been a problem all game long. And I would say that going along with that has been confidence. Because even if they had the right coverage, they've still dented them. And now it's been a real issue for him during this. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. DeForest Buckner able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Going to throw deep. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Albert Wilson, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Dolphins are able to extend that advantage. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is... Is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning, right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? Ready up. 54, right there, right there. 54, Mike. Check, 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 check. Check, check, check. <laughs> the play action fake. They'll look to throw. Being chased out left. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Nick Bosa able to drop him for a loss of a couple. And it's never good to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field down near the red zone. Not at all, because you're already pretty much assured yeah. of a field goal. If you take a big sack, it could push you out of range, and that's why defenses get a little more aggressive in this situation. They're almost conceding the three points. They want to push you back and try and take you out of that. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, those two have hooked up for a touchdown once already in this game, that time unable to find the completion. Yeah, it just appeared they wanted to get him out into open space and try and get him the football. As you mentioned, unable to connect. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Nick Bosa in there to record another sack, and that is now six on the... They'll run on first down. Drake, and inside the 20 before he's brought down. A Miami first down, that one going for a off. It's really having their way, Charles, and another big chunk play there on the ground. And when you look at the defense, they've got to do a much better job of wrapping up when they tackle. A lot of great opportunities continue to slip through their fingers, as do the runners. 
Now on first down, Drake again. He'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. On second down, it's Drake. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Offense. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Here we go. 18, Gator. I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm scared. I'm scared. Looking to throw. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. And Stills has got it. Touchdown, Miami. Kenny Stills, his fifth touchdown now on the year as his guys continue to pour it on. Well, this game is definitely over, but we do know some people like to go ahead and continue to add to their score, don't we? Yeah, I, I don't know that they need to add any more right now, though. I'm just starting to think about those dinner plans tonight, my friend. Well, you and I will be thinking about dinner plans, but we also know they're playing people are thinking, how can... Go now. Ten Lobo. Mike by four. Hey, pick it up, defense. Let's go. On first down. It's Drake. A tough run gets him just inside the 10 to the 9, but no further. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Second and four. Flushed out right. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. D Ford in there with pressure yet again. That is the seventh time that they have dropped him here this afternoon. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted but it winds up falling incomplete. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for Miami, it was a great all-around performance as they come out of this one with the victory. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for San Francisco, they'll drop to 0-2. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves next week at home against San Francisco. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on e